Hello everybody and welcome. This is Adrian. Thank you so much for joining me today. Let's play some more Hearts of Iron 4 in a Communist Turkey campaign. Um, okay, so we're just progressing with our war with the Soviet Union. We're making some headway in the European theater. The Soviets have lost about 3 million men. Um, so I have a feeling that be our military successes are because they're losing so many men. Um, I have no real way to know that for sure though. So um, we're gonna have to keep prematurely deploying these infantry lines. I need I need bodies. I need troops um, Our deficit on infantry equipment and such is getting a little worse so um, Yeah, but like see we don't even have any weapons three anymore. We only have weapons one and two No, we don't have any weapons two. We just have weapons one. Never mind So yeah, we're just gonna see um, you know how the naval game goes. It's it's going okay as far as um, Defending my convoys and we're trying to beat the Soviets here um, it's some, some pretty crazy shit, man. I'm not gonna lie. This is some pretty crazy fighting. Um, this attack has stalled out a little bit, I will admit. We're still not making any headway here in the cost, so I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that attack. Yeah, Soviets have lost 3.25 million. I've lost, um, 310,000. The Republicans have lost 625,000, so we're making some headway, but things are still not looking too good for us. Um, we've lost some divisions. Let's see, what else do we have? His infantry. We're on our last manpower law. We've lost, yeah, we've lost um, um, about 20,000, 30,000 men. So, let's see, special forces, convoy escorts. I'm just trying to get our doctrine going and seeing if we can um, make something happen. We, we can't get any more national foci. There's nothing else left to get. Uh, Soviet Union are very far from capitulating, probably. British Parliament debates intervention in Scandinavia, which is weird. Okay. Um, it'd be nice to have Hungary as, an, as a friend. <laughs> yeah, as a major nation, strategic reasons to be hostile. Hmm. Republic in Spain, Yugoslavia. What about the Republic of Italy? What's up with them? Hmm. Yeah, very interesting. So anyway, yeah, we're going to war. We're still at war, the Soviets. We're holding down the Caucasus. I think they're attacking me in the mountains here. We're entrenched pretty good, so... I don't think much will happen here. <laughs> Excuse me. I think our defense will be just fine. Um, What's my doctrine? Do I have grand battle plan? I think I had superior firepower, didn't I? I did. I had superior firepower. Okay. So it's it's worked out well for us so far. We're trying to improve our supply situation over here. Uh, it's not doing too bad, I guess. Let's see. Georgia. We have a lot of civilian factories, but most of them are going away to trade and such. We really don't have that much to produce with. Uh, am I getting the resources that I need now? No, not really. Let's cancel all resource imports. Let's see. How's my production? It's my production tanks. So we need, we need steel primarily. I think if we're going to cancel all of our imports, we at least need steel. So let's check out who we can who we can work with. The United States has the most. Oh my god. 45 military factories for 360 steel. Holy shit. That's crazy. Anybody else? Sweden. And Hungary. Anybody else? No, not really. Oil? Iran? Venezuela? Okay, let's try that. Let's see. How's my constructions? So that's a little better. It's a little better. We have a deficit in steel still, pretty much, and oil. But it's better. Um... Our production's not keeping up, though. Not by a long shot. We need to get the support equipment up. Inventory equipment and support equipment are probably the most necessary right now. Medium tanks. We need artillery and then medium tanks. I can get some medium tanks. We're produ we have about a thousand. So if I wanted to create a new division, I could. Let's do medium armor. These are elite troops. Let's do... Let's remove all these guys.
Let's do armored battalions, medium tanks, medium, medium. Whoopsies. Let's do armored battalions, medium. Okay, recon, support, logistics, maintenance, and engineer. Let's save that. Those guys would be pretty badass. Uh, let's cancel some of these lines. Get some of that manpower back. Let's train up medium armor. So wh the question is, where are they needed most? That is a very good question. It's either on the Caucasus front or over here. And I'm going to say over here. I do want to give them to there. Yeah. So let's get some support equipment going. Let's get some medium tanks going. Let's actually bump this up ahead of the light tanks. We do need a lot of fighters close air support. Motorized is all right. We have a lot of motorized, actually. Well, not not so much. We actually used to have a surplus of about 11,000. That's that's dwindled now. Um, damn. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy shit has happened in, in recent times. Um, so we'll just train up some, some medium tanks if I can get them. I definitely need that support equipment. I don't think that deficit is going away anytime soon, though. It says in 88 days, which is a long time. It's three months. Uh, the Soviets have lost 4 million. Let's try and counterattack here in the Caucasus. No, we're not even able to do that, are we? Nope, doesn't look like it. Okay. Anything here? We're still trying to attack here. Doesn't look like it's successful, so let's just hold off on the assault for just a minute. We're, we're attacking across the river, so it is a little difficult. Um, improved anti-tank. Four point three three million casualties for them. I've got three hundred eighty thousand. The Republicans have lost 667,000. Uh, 667, Looks like China has the most participation right now, because they've invaded all of the uh, People's Republic of China. Come on, I need to launch some attacks or something. You got to give me something to work with here. The air situation is better. We've been able to stall out the USSR attack a little bit. As far as the um, air situation is concerned, we've destroyed a lot of their fighters. They used to have about 11, uh, 11 or 12,000 or so. We've been able to stall it out a little bit. Okay, the UK is up to some stuff. I'm not sure what. Let's improve relations with some of the allies. Yeah, that might be good. Yeah. Might as well expend the political capital in some way or another. Let's uh, boost party popularity in some of these surrounding countries here. Polish Republic, huh? Hmm. Okay. We're still pushing. Um, People's Republic of China's capitulated. Okay, so the Asian theater should be secured. We can start pushing on them from that direction. Republic in Spain still lost a lot of men. Turkish Socialist Republic We've lost 400,000. Okay, so the Soviet Union has lost 5 million. I'm serious. They got to be running out of men. They must be running out of men. They must be. I just, I don't see how, how else it's possible for them to be keep going. You know, they fought not only the Germans, but us. So there, there must be something going on with that. I have 35 divisions of infantry right here. Holy shit. Why? Why do I have so many? What the hell's up with that? Why do I have so many troops here? have 111 divisions here. We're trying to push across this river. 
Uh, we're making something happen. Okay, so we've encircled some troops here. Very nice. We're able to cut these guys off. They're not going to get any reinforcements or anything. Okay, so we pushed across through there. Making some stuff happen. Oh, we pushed into the Caucasus. Thank God. So we're going to push up to Stalingrad. We're pushing up over here. Okay, so they've got to be running out of men or something by now. If they're if they're letting me push this far, they have to be losing men or something. Something has to be involuntary for, them to, for this to be happening. We've pushed into the Balkans, into the Ukraine. We have hopefully hopefully absolute air superiority, if not just some. Twelve hundred bombers! Holy shit! Eleven hundred close air support, which is mine. My, those are my planes. Yeah, they're losing equipment and men is what it looks like. I think I'm I'm probably losing about the same. Medium tanks, fighters, light tanks, support equipment. Yeah, I'm losing a lot too. Huge deficit in steel. I need steel real bad. I can't get much from anybody. Hmm. Okay, we're still pushing for Kiev in Ukraine. Some stuff's happening now. We're pushing on this front in the Caucasus. We're making some headway. We've secured a lot of the mountains. Can I deploy some of these medium armor? Almost. They they have most of their tanks. What they do require, though, is... You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to deploy those guys. I'm going to deploy this inventory, too. These light tanks, I'll go ahead and hold off on for now. So, did they auto-deploy? They did, I believe. Hopefully they did. Alright, making significant progress now. Production... It's coming along. We're at maximum industrial efficiency, as far as I can tell. I've researched literally everything that I can think of. Um... Everything that I could possibly think of. Yeah, we're invading the USSR. Okay, we're making some headway here. USSR has lost 5.5 million. We're making some progress. Let's go for some improved anti-tank. We have resistance occupation, which is understandable. How's their, um, how's their national unity? Hmm. It's up there. Oh my god, dude. Do you see this? Holy shit. China has 200 divisions. Wow. So the, the it looks like the USSR is keeping a significant number of troops over here to hold off China. And so they've pulled back, I think, and they sent a lot of troops to the east. So that's why I'm over here and I'm making such good progress. Okay. Let's see, we're making some significant progress here. So let's expand this defensive line, or this offensive line here. Okay, significant progress is being made. We have a lot of superiority here. So I'm going to push up for Kiev. And I'm either going to go, I think I might go east. I might go east because I, I want to take Stalingrad. There's a lot of resources over here. It's actually a lot of oil that Iran has delivery blocked. Okay. <laughs> In the Twitch chat, um, the communist flag of Turkey looks like the communist party of Nepal's flag. <laughs> I think honestly, all communist and socialist flags look pretty similar. They always have a hammer and sickle. So I can't tell the difference. And I guess if you can go for it, but I can't usually. Okay, so we've made significant progress in here. We've we've absolutely broken the brunt of their military force. Um, I could push into this territory here. Although I really think that in order to, to help out for sure, I need to envelop this. This needs to be absolutely destroyed. Nuclear reactors. Ooh. How's my construction here? 
I think we're okay on some of this infrastructure now. Let's make sure we still repair all the things that we need to be repaired. We have 124 civilian factories. It's pretty good. Um, and I say you push up to the outskirts of this city here. Or maybe, maybe come back. Maybe something like, something like that. Jesus. Okay, maybe not that big of a defensive line. Let's try. How's that? It's a little better. Let's try something like that. Okay, so he'll execute as as able. Um, these divisions sh should get into position and should prepare to invade. Let's see, can I adjust this a little bit? Let's say something like that. Because right now, they kind of push out in all directions, and that's not exactly what I want them to do. Actually, we should probably... Let's just cancel that order. Let's see. Let's see. How does this take place? So, they occupy most, if not all, of this. I think that'll... I think that's the plan that I need. Uh, let's, let's pause here for a second. Let's check out this offensive order. What's up here? Let's go ahead and cancel that order. Okay. Let's go ahead and let's see. Hmm. Low manpower? I have 980,000. The Soviets have lost 6 million. Let's go ahead and launch this attack. Looks like we have 40 divisions garrisoning that part of the border. And then we're getting some more for this. Fighting in the Caucasus is going pretty well. We're, we've still sustained a lot of casualties, I will admit. But I think things are going well. For what we've had to work with? Yeah. For sure. There's a, there's a pocket of troops here. Can we get rid of any of this? Looks like we can. I need these troops up north, so let's see if we can encircle some of this. Holy shit. A significant amount of enemy troops has been encircled here. We're gonna take some oil, hopefully. Low manpower, less than a million. Okay. Sounds low to me. 1946. Okay. I'm baiting here. Let's pause there for just a second. Let's check how we're doing up north. Um, I told him to execute this plan, but he's not doing so. Hmm. He must not have the men for it. I mean, that is understandable.
let's see let's pull back let's pull back here no let's let's cancel that can i do something like that can you do that i think he can okay so let's try something like that let's invade like you know all the crimea let's get up in there and yeah, sent a tank Let's hold this this area and let's let's push up here. Um, I might be able to to combine the armies here in just a little bit. Hopefully, we've we've combined a lot of the fronts. Yeah, so I would say the majority of what's going on right here is the Soviets have lost so many men and so much material that they just can't hold off both fronts. They can't hold off Nationalist China and me. So I think they diverted a little too much strength to the east. That's what I'm assuming is what happened. So we're making some good progress here. Good progress. We're going to make sure not to get encircled. We're about to take Stalingrad. Okay, so we've made significant progress for sure. We're, we're pushing into the Crimea. We're holding the line here. Okay, so we've combined the lines, essentially. We have some... Let's try... Okay, so let's do that. And then um, we should just, we should send this force to the east and send this force north to Moscow. That'll probably be best. Okay, taking massive amounts of bombing and attrition and all sorts of things, especially because of bombers and because of unrest. Okay. We've just about combined the lines. No, what are these guys up to? We're still pushing for the same objectives, okay. Um, let's see. At this point, we might as well capture these these orders. Let's go ahead and pause that. Cancel those orders. Let's do oh shit. We still have an offensive line here. One offensive line. Let's do something like this. Can we do this? Can I attack Sevastopol? I don't think I can. Hmm. Interesting. We're still trying to combine the fronts. Okay, so we've combined the fronts, I think. Right. It's gonna be one singular front line now, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and get some troops in there. Uh, we can go ahead and combine these armies now. Okay, so we have one front line. Let's delete all orders. One front line. Let's do. Let's do that. Okay, so that's our front line. Right. And... Let's secure as much as we can. They're moving around some troops. That's fine. Okay, production and such is a little better. I do need to get some stuff back here. Can I pull off couple divisions let's see can i can i come and take sevastopol let's try it let's try and clear up what we can here let's go for sevastopol and that's the major that's a major port
Okay, let's um Let's see as a research. I guess experimental rockets. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead. I think let's let's go ahead and take a break here, guys. I'll be back in just a minute. We'll we'll see how this war turns out with the Soviet Union. I'll be right back. <laughs> 